Uh, as far as I know, like, I saw these over a year ago, like, glimpses of them. As far as I know, these are both probably going to be a little sad. But, I mean, anyone who's played the games will know. Uh, Fuhua's backstory was pretty fucking sad. So, makes sense. Springfest is gonna be Fuhua and Fushi, and I believe Blade of the Empyrean happens after this one, and Blade of the Empyrean is when she's by herself. Oh! No! Moonrise. Eat one, do not shuffle. <laughs> I always forget to fix the music play. Gosh darn it. What? Yeah. Uh -huh. So Pushi's trying to get Fuhua to go to the festival, it looks like. Which is interesting, because that was kind of part of, uh... That was kind of part of one of the events, right? The, uh... The recent Fuhua event we did, where Fuhua was telling Kiana about her past story. I wonder if this manga is related to the event. Or maybe this was a little after. But... Let's... Get to reading and see what all this one's about. Tang Dynasty, Shenzhou, a land of peace and prosperity with many allies and friends. But its advanced civilization attracted an ancient enemy, seeks to corrupt good works. Once again, humanity found itself at war with the Honkai Horde, but threatened the very survival of the human race. This is interesting that it continues through these pages. Like, this was clearly designed to be read online and not in a book. There's Fuhua. Those who live in Shenzo had little to fear. Over these lands stood an ageless Empyrean, the Phoenix Immortal, who lives high in the mountains. Tirelessly, she stood for centuries without rest. She's the Pearl of Shenzo, with her. <clears throat> wake up. Time to wake up, little book. Phoenix! Oh dear. Did we take out all the Honkai beasts? <laughs> we did. Just like always, fast and efficient. <clears throat> You've slept for long enough. It's time for us to go. You're far too OP and I'd just get in the way. I'd rather take a nap. <sighs> Hold on, we're going... where? Bogmount Temple. Back to the temple, but we only arrived at the Great Wall in the morning. Angry Fushi noises. <laughs> Angry little robo-doll. Indeed, but since we defeated all the Honkai in this area, there's no reason for us to stay any longer. <laughs> Apparently she's turning into a cat now. Yes. <laughs> I object. I demand we stay and rest, Master Phoenix. Running around is so very tiring, you know. Ah, we have company. <laughs> Activate elegant diva mode. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that she doesn't, like, float on a scroll like this in-game, because that's really cool. I think that's more interesting than her and her ball, although the ball is really cute. Mm. 
Whoa, it's the Mortal Imperia herself. Thank you so much for defeating the Honkai monsters for us. The Mortal Imperia, tonight will be the eve of the Spring Festival. We cordially invite you to join us in a feast that shall be held in your honor. Thank you, but no. What? Please, do grace us with your... The way is clear. Return to your homes. But I'm hungry. Can't we eat some food before f first before leaving? Can't I e even get a bow? Please. <laughs> Hello, Fushi. Coming up with any excuse to try and get Fuhua to stay there. My Lord Imperia, please don't leave us like this. You can celebrate this spring festival with us tonight and leave on the morrow. And yeah, for people who don't know, a bow is a Chinese pun. Hmm. Stupid numbskull just did things for free again. <laughs> Master Fushi, did we make her angry? Did we displease the Lord Imperia? Is it because we didn't help much in the fight? Please, Master Fushi, tell us what's making her upset. We really want to thank her for all the things she did for us. Our Lord Imperia is becoming increasingly distant. What should we do? Please tell us. Alright, but brace yourself for a lengthy tale. The immortal Phoenix and I have traveled across the lands of Shenzo for thousands of years. We defeated numerous monsters and kept the peace in this fine realm. Wallpaper. That is so pretty. I wonder if there's a higher resolution version of the manga anywhere. If anyone's like scanned the book. That is gorgeous. I'd use that as a wallpaper. Easy. Hmm. She was very different back then. In fact, she was very, very warm. Oh. She met many people and made many friends. Numerous epics sung of their adventures. I wonder if that's from, like, the event we did. What she was like back then, that she was a little more connected with the people, and this is after the fact. Though old age and time left no mark on the immortal phoenix, they spared none of her friends. As an Empyrean, the Immortal understood and accepted the laws of nature, of life, and of death. Yet the pain was too much to bear. She stopped making friends. When even that didn't work, she began to distance herself away from people entirely. When Only when the Honkai menace threatened the peace of Shenzo will the Phoenix join the fight at the Great Wall. The terrible carnage that she witnessed only proved, as it always did, the fragility of common folk. And fresh young faces that greeted her only meant that even those she remembered had died fighting the enemy that never rests. Nothing was left in her heart except for sorrow. And that's why she didn't want to stay or get to know you. You'll become her friends, and she'll grieve when you die. But I thought we'd annoyed her in some way. Thank goodness we had the wrong idea. If we'll end up bringing her pain, perhaps it's best if we leave her alone. Well, then we won't force you to stay. May fortune sway in your favor. Godspeed and safe journeys. <clears throat> You can't give up like that. At least try giving me a farewell gift. <laughs> Ooh, she wants to crack Fuhua's shell so badly. Ah, uh, Phoenix, is this what you really want? Humans are such complicated creatures. I'm tired. Oh no. Alright, Fushi, stop sleeping on the job. Get moving again, and join up with the phoenix quickly. Hmm? Who are you? Uh-oh. 
who she kidnapped. God, I love Moonrise. Such a relaxing little tune. Strange, why isn't the little book back yet? Did she doze off somewhere again? Terrible news, my lord Phoenix. Terrible news. It's the monsters. They took Master Fuchi by surprise. Oh. oh, it's so obvious where this is going and it hurts to know. The immediate... The immediate reaction in Fuhua. The one friend she's allowed herself to keep. He's so worried about Fushi. Where? It must be up on the wall. We only found this, her magic scroll. We have no idea where they took her. So many good shots of Hoo Hoo Cheese. Mm. Oh jeez, that's already the end of the first one? I knew the manga reading wasn't going to be long, but... Damn, this might be really fast today. <laughs> this might be less than an hour of reading and then just hours and hours of stride. Maybe I should have left some dailies to do on stream. A little late for that now, though. And then... Anyone who's played the game, you'll recognize these temples, the temples that she used to go to. Well... Changed appearance. Her is Phoenix. Oh, it's covering the backstory a bit. That's why. Her and the twins. <laughs> Welcome home, Phoenix. Tell me about what you did this time. I gotta continue writing that epic saga of yours. You're hardly home, so make sure you take the time to rest and relax. Oh dear, just look at this. You ru just ruined your fabulous outfit. I can't even trust you with a decent dress. We'll have to make a brand new suit for you. It's fine. A few stitches would make it whole again. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen off her yet. <laughs> Love these three together. Hmm. No, this isn't fine at all. I won't let you ruin your flaming hot image that I've spent ages building. You're supposed to be the immortal phoenix, the Celestia Imperia of legend, not a beggar girl from the mud bowl field. <laughs> For people who don't know, the three of them are all from previous era. They're all just people who survived using uh, cryo chambers. But who was literally immortal, so... The other two worked to kind of fabricate legends and history to make Fuhua seem like a god to the local people. And they kind of helped the country, the people here, come up with economy and technology and stuff and help progress them faster. It's, it's really funny though, just seeing like their normal personalities as friends when they're there. It's just like, she she just does, wants nothing to do with this. Uha is here to beat the crap out of Honkai and then go rest. She doesn't care about her image. <laughs> also, I love just Rahar. <laughs> There's this outfit so I can fix it. You need to learn how to take care of yourself. They're not immortal. You've got to relax a little and stop going overboard in the fights. Nua is right. Nua is right. You're the protector of Shenzo. 
and serve as our field agents. Looking like a mess, we'll tarnish our pristine images as well. I forgot, this is Fushi. The blue-haired one's Fushi, and the red-haired one is Nua. I mixed them up for a bit there. <clears throat> In any case, I have something for you to help perform daily chores and stuff like that for you. Aww. Wonder. Okay, it is a different hairpiece than both of them. They both just have this on either side, and this one has this double spiral one. Oh, little book of Fushi. What is this little thing? This is the book of Fushi, a mini droid modeled after me. I helped you know, that's why it's so cute. <laughs> mm. Little book, it's time to meet your new master. Starting today, the book will be taking care of your daily chores to improve your quality of life. M mustard <laughs> to master thought they said mustard apparently the little book of fushi has thought about food her whole life hmm. never asked you to improve my quality of life if i find a tear in my outfit i'll just head back here to get it fixed <clears throat> Don't forget, we won't be sticking around forever. Unlike you, we aren't immortals. And that's why we need you to master the art of independent living. Yeah, so stop being so sloppy and learn how to live like a true diva and celestial Empyrean. Taking a minute. <laughs> oh, this line hurts. Just the setup was so perfect to make this very short manga very emotional. That Fuha avoided making friends, but she still had a friend, right? He had the Book of Fushi for probably hundreds of years. Mm. They gave her to me as a gift. She's all that's left. Oh. I just dried my eyes, mihoyo. Fuck off. <laughs> Give Fu Ha hugs. I better hydrate to replenish the fluids I'm losing. Jeez. Ah, uh, can't imagine what that'd feel like though. Living for hundreds of years, losing everything and everyone, except for one. Except for one little robot your friends gave you. And just the worry that that last little friend might be gone. Oh. There's a reason why they call immortality a curse. Biting her lip.
little book. <clears throat> Phoenix, is that you? Thank goodness you found me pretty quickly. Were you hurt? Obviously not. Well, I didn't run into any Honkai beasts. But I did run into a few human kids. I really want you to stay with the people, so I came up with an idea. I went missing to make you return and find me. This song isn't helping with the emotions. <laughs> Glad you're alright. We should head back at once. Hmm. Wait, Master Phoenix. Are you sure you don't want to join the people for the Spring Festival? Hmm. <clears throat> Master Phoenix, the two lady creators installed several modules into me to assist you in your mission. I have Honkai scanners, GPS, and advanced fire controls. I think there's still room for more subroutines. Oh my god. Let's add the Compendium of Lame Jokes and the Haxer series. <laughs> I wonder if this was foreshadowing, or if they've just had that in the back of their mind forever, Haxer, and they're like, we're gonna name something that, and they got to Branya. They also gave me some strange programs. My lady creators, if my purpose is to assist Phoenix, I recommend firepower mods. Oh no, you aren't made for combat, little book. Yeah, you're gonna be her family, little book. You're a companion droid. Your duty is to stay by her side. Oh. Oh, I mixed up the twins from behind. I thought Nua was the one with the red... The red ribbons. Nope. Bushi. <laughs> they coded my primary directive to be your best friend and make you a kind and gentle person. I didn't know what that meant, and then they left. We've seen the statue before. The statue that uh, Nua carved for her as a way of trying to like honor the great phoenix. Remember this, little book. A lonely traveler may lose her way. She'll be extremely sad when we leave. Guide her and don't let her turn herself into a cold and heartless Honkai killing machine. Please, Master Phoenix, please stay and join the Spring Fest tonight. Fine, little book. I'll stay for tonight. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Yay! <laughs> Aww. Is this supposed to be people cheering or singing, maybe? <laughs> oh, little girl bumped into her. <clears throat> Oh, and she caught the girl's lantern so it didn't break. Aww. Aww. 
Manga genuinely hurts to read, oh my god. It's such a short one, we're already almost done. Alright. And of course I chose, like, the most emotional music I could. <laughs> Makes sense, it's for Fuwa, but jeez. Uh, it's beautiful. Thank you. The fireworks and stuff. Another gorgeous shot. We've got so many good shots of Fuwa. <laughs> Oh, and she's thinking of her. I can't remember this guy's name. Demo? I can't remember. I can't remember his name. That's probably me throwing out a random name I've heard. I know there's a, uh. There's a stigmata set for him. And of course, there's Ji Shen Yin. And of course, Fushiji. And then, Nua. smiling. I haven't seen you smile like that for ages. I was just thinking about the past. I know you feel happy when people when you're around people. You should go out more and make more friends. Maybe you can start a school. Oh, it was Fushi's idea. Start a school. Yeah, you can train a few disciples and teach them how to fight and defend this land. I'll think about it. Please, do think about it, Master Phoenix. Promise me you'll do that for me. Unfortunately, even machines don't last forever. Fuwa. Hmm. And I thought you're the one who wanted to stay in this village. So what should I do with a sleepy little book? Sorry, Master. I'm running out of power. I'll be forced to shut down soon. There's nothing we can do about this. You probably knew about this all along. That's why you always allowed me to slack off and save my battery reserves. You're my best friend, Master Phoenix. I really love all the adventures we had all these years. Be sad. The day will come when human civilization is advanced enough. I'll wake up again and we'll be together once more. I hope that happens in the story soon. 
Because as far as we know, she's kept Fushi. I'm pretty sure we've seen, like, the ball that she floats on in her house. Because I guess for the game, maybe they redesigned her. But I know we've seen Fushi in, I think, some of the other mangas and maybe in some of the side events. So, hopefully, Fushi comes part of the story again. It would be nice to see. I really hope she didn't give Fushi to freaking Otto. Yes, and I'll wait for that day to come. Master of Phoenix. Fireworks. Oh my god. Isn't it pretty? Yes, little book. Oh, no next page. God. Did I actually be using my emotions on this thing? I think I have a sad button. Which one was the sad button? Was this the sad button? Did I be using the sad face? <laughs> I don't usually use the emotions on my model. Jesus Christ. It was so obvious where it was going from the beginning. <sighs> Hello, Hyacinth. Just finished the first manga and crying my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Such a perfectly written like tragedy. Oh. It's always worse when it's a sad story that's written so well. You know the ending before you get there. You know what the ending is going to be. But you have to watch it every step of the way as you slowly get closer and closer to that heartbreaking ending. Uhua lost all her friends. All she had left was a little android that lived with her for hundreds of years and then the android ran out of power. And now she's all alone. So I guess Fuji did impress on Fuha to start her school, and we know that's something that she did. Fuha did end up making a school. And anyone who knows anything about Seven Swords knows that the school didn't go so well. <laughs> because Fuha, after making the school, started getting cold again. But, speaking of... After making her school, she had her first disciple, Lin Xiaoyu. And this is the story of her going to check a cult with strange powers. I do believe this probably happens either during or... It's either during Seven Swords, which for people who don't know, Seven Swords is the third visual novel of Honkai. It isn't done. As far as I know, it's on hiatus. But it hasn't been translated, and even the Chinese one isn't complete, so... I haven't looked it up yet. I would like to look up a completed story. But... All we know is she made a school, and... She ended up very cold. She she trained them to get rid of Honkai at all costs, and that you can't forgive the Honkai. 
and a lot of her students eventually banded against her because they felt that she was too cold. Oh, it's only one chapter, this is probably going to be short then. There's one panel of this that I remember. I don't remember the story of this completely, but I know I saw bits of this a year ago. And I do know there's going to be a small flashback to Himiko. Not Himiko from our storyline, not the Himiko that's in the game, but the previous era Himiko, Captain Himiko, who was one of Fuhua's close friends when she was young, and the person who trained Fuhua when she joined the Moths. Ah, oh, so here we go, Blade of the Empyrean. Corrupted. <clears throat> Master, should we wait for the others? Master May of the Lotus School will be arriving soon. Master May of the Lotus School. I wonder if this is an ancestor of the May we know. That'd be interesting. As we know her family has trained with the sword for generations. No, we don't wait. You know, take this art, give them faces, make it look a little happier with smiles on their faces like they were talking with each other. Maybe remove a little bit of the shade on them. This could be a really cool wallpaper. This is very depressing looking the way it is now, though. <laughs> Who's talking? Okay. The cultists intent to perform the rite of holy flames have caused quite a ruckus in Shenzhou. The five great schools, with the exception of Moshan, have sent their best fighters. Even minor sects have mobilized, believing that striking down the cult leader Yan Shilo will make a name for themselves. Yan Shilo might call himself the second best warrior of the realm, but he couldn't possibly take on the entire Jiang Jiangyu society. Yungu literally rivers and lakes refers to the martial society governed by the code of honor instead of imperial law. Okay. Zhao Yu, the school of Taishuan cares not for these mundane affairs. No mercy for the corrupted, no quarter given. That is our code. And do remember this. He has been waiting for this moment as well. Menothomini, 1461, Wangshan Mountain. Fire. This is our cult leader. Spooky dude in all white, surrounded by fire. Hmm. Who goes there? A visitor? No, my mistake. It seems that our most honored guest has arrived. Yan Shilo at your service. I am humbled by your mere presence, Master Phoenix. The desolate Wangsheng Mountain glows more brightly with your arrival, Celestial Imperia. I would have greeted you personally at the foot of these slopes, but alas, I am tied up by some mundane affairs of my own. I have to welcome my guests by order of their arrival. I hope you won't mind waiting for these two, Maria. The name of Li Mingyan and, his eye and my eyes have witnessed your serene beauty three years ago, Celestial. Turns out this young girl is the legendary immortal of Mount Taishuan. I wonder if this is supposed to be, like, actually on his chest? Like, he's just got this, like, either tattooed or burnt onto his chest or something. 
It's just funny seeing it. It literally just looks like it was just drawn over top. They didn't try to make it look like it was actually on his skin. Xiaoyu, do you know these two? Nice pegs though. Yeah, you built. <clears throat> oh, um, a little, I guess. Li Mingyan, Sage of Greenwood, unmatched swordmaster of Xeon Mountain. You've met him before, Master. He paid us a visit when we founded our Taishuan school. I don't remember seeing that tan giant, but I suspect he's a good fellow from the book I felt Bay. Wait, there's bronze emblazoned on his chest. I've heard of this. These two are famous pugilists, on par with the greatest masters of the realm. Okay, so that's literally on his chest, and it says bronze. <laughs> Names, uh, Tu Yong Peng. Ocean of Unending Hatred from the Leviathan Clan. Good fellow refers to an individual involved in the Jiangu society. They operate by the code of honor, but scoff at imperial law. But no match for the Grand Master of the Three Sublime Arts. Yan Chilo, prophet of the Children of Fire, second best warrior of the realms. Self professed second best warrior of the realms. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone Fuha has trained is stronger than this guy. Oh, Grandmaster of the Three Sublime Arts. Okay, so that's him they're saying? Never met him before, but rumors spoke of his uncanny ability to manipulate fire, an unnatural ability likely acquired by accepting gifts from the Honkai. Tales mentioned of how young Yang Shilo, Yan Shilo slept at Wangshan Mountain, and how he met an Imperia who gifted him three magical scrolls. To me, the tale is probably embellished, build his little cult. I'm more interested in this false Imperia. Yeah, because clearly Fuhua didn't do that. I sense wrongness in every fiber of his being. Floaty rocks? Actually, maybe they're not all floating. It could be that these side parts are attached further down, but they look floaty. And it's completely on fire now. Oh, is he literally just gonna burn the other two alive? Okay, he he basically just said, nah, I'm just gonna burn you guys, I'm gonna beat you guys up that way, and then I'm gonna move on. Hmm. Apologies, rude of me to keep you waiting for so long, Imperia. The Honkai level in this man is extremely high. The fact that he remains highly self-aware is more than impressive. And that unnatural fire surges with powerful spikes of Honkai energy. Strong enough to give birth to an Emperor-class Honkai beast. Can he be the Hersher of this era? Yeah. Miko. Because Himiko in the previous era was the Hersher of Flames. It has waited for 50,000 years. Will the Angel of Honkai appear in this form? Zhao Yu. Yes, Master. This man has been corrupted. Yes, master. <laughs> so he's like, oh, okay. Our school says we can't forgive people who are corrupted, so uh, time to kill him. <laughs> Lin Zhao Yu, first disciple of the school of Taishuan. I hereby request an honorable fight with you, Master Yan. 
You insult me, Imperia. I announced the location and date of my right to challenge the entire Zhongyu society. Because I know I can destroy the insects who think they can protect Shenzo. The ancient gods blessed me with gifts that let me wield these holy flames. There's only one more thing to defeat before I free myself from the second place. Sublime Fire. Eldritch Rhyme? Huh. But since the Imperia refuses to indulge me with a fight, I'll simply demonstrate the full might of my Jade Eminence with her very first disciple. Opening form onslaught. No, Honkai. You're the one getting a demonstration. You shall witness how I've trained an ordinary human to best your Hersher. Oh boy. 50,000 years ago. Some previous era stuff. Rejection responses have decreased by 79.47%. Metamorphic her integration is going smoothly. The Swara is stimulating her cerebral cortex at a subconscious level. Her body is adapting to Honkai energy as we speak. So this is when they were when they were doing the surgery on Fuhua. Though Fuhua's was interesting because instead of just the surgery and hoping she survived, they gave her the Swara, which was they gave her a suggestion beforehand to make her more resistant. Uh Ponya did. There's Kevin and May. <clears throat> the Swara treatment has gradually greatly increased Hua's muscular strength and neural response. This subliminal hypnotic therapy has far exceeded our most positive expectations. So that means I'll be getting this Swara treatment as well, right? No, you don't need it. Hua became a mantis while she's still in her puberty. Her body has remained in a state where there's still potential for growth. That is why we use Swara to stimulate her brain and give her the relevant benefits. However, we've also learned that the brain is the most vulnerable and complex part of the body. Sacrifices have to be made. In some ways, Swara-ready subjects are harder to find than potential mantises. But if this works, we'll be able to grant normal humans the ability to match the Honkai. Yeah. And then Fuhua found out a way to come up with mantras and chants to do the same thing to people without a psychic, like Aponya. Do your worst, girl. He's just going to get cut in half, isn't he? Says this girl surprises me. She's not drawing in her strength from her. Dungeon C. Where does she get so much power from? Dungeon C. As far as her strength from the body. Okay, so kind of like a martial arts term then. Eldritch Jade, I think. Blade form. Oh, what's it called? Gentle Orchid. Hmm. My Eldritch powers. I love how they call it Eldritch. I doubt they call it Eldritch in the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Funny though. Hmm. Yeah, she has the ability to manipulate Honkai. Oh, why does the girl know how to control the holy fire? 
Did the gods choose her as well? Yan Shilo, you've lost. <laughs> you've raised a fine disciple, Imperia, but her mercy will make her weak. You've won and taught me an important lesson. I'm ashamed to have called myself the second best. This defeat is a warning from the gods. You're wrong. What? You're not a Hersher. You're not God's prophet. The Honkai eruption of this era has not taken place. When compared to her flames, your eldritch and holy fires are but drizzles beating weakly against the key of my sea. Her, Himiko's flames. Our code is simple. No mercy for the corrupted. And he got cut down right then. Master. These two girls must be children of fire the cultists have chosen. Yan Shilo must be planning to infuse the key from the unnatural flames into these girls. But the prophet is dead and the cultists have fled. What should we do with these girls, master? They must be the chosen human vessels for the Honkai Hersher. The cultists knew what they were doing. These children of fire are promising candidates. With Swara training, they will become powerful soldiers for fighting the Honkai. Sacrifices have to be made. They shall come with us to Mount Taishuan. Oh. Someone else. Who are you, girl? Ah, she won't say anything. She's weird. It, she ignores everyone. What's her name? Her name? I think she's called... Reminds her of herself when she was a kid. Do we not get to hear her name? Cheng Ling Shuang. Why is that? Is that... I'm trying to remember all her disciples. I know the twins were, uh, were her disciples as well. But the reason they put so much emphasis on her is I'm pretty sure she is the one that... She is the one that is the closest to Fuhua in strength, once trained. And I think she's one of the ones that actually hurts Fuhua in Seven Swords. Oh, poor Fuha though, man. 
<sighs> Just everything she goes through. But she's literally taking in these kids, giving them strength, because she's trying to help them, right? She's trying to help them survive. But everything ends up going poorly. I really hope they finish Seven Swords at some point. I really want to... I want to see the full story. Because I've gotten tons of pieces from the game, from various manga... There's, there's little hints everywhere at what happened, but I want the full... I want to see the full thing in the visual novel. So hopefully we get there. Love these two. They're so silly. <laughs> Freaking twins.